Welcome back to my channel. Please excuse the redness around here. I cut myself shaving because I am a 16 year old. Now today I've got a few things to do. I've got to finalize the Patreon orders for December, which I have now done before this. So you're just going to see the packing upside. So I really need to get them out today. I should have got them out last week, even though um, they are for December and they should surely arrive to everyone before December. I did want to get them out a little bit earlier because the Christmas period is just crazy with the mail. I'm just going to get on to doing, well, I'm not going to get on to doing that now because I actually pre-filmed it in my pajamas. I'm also going to be walking to the shops because now that they're all packed up, I need to go and post out all of the mail and then Sendal will be coming to pick up the larger boxes from the witch tier tomorrow. I will also be stopping in some stores because I need to find the G3 Draculaura because I've got so many people on my commissions waiting list for her and we're once again, just completely out of stock and um, I've ordered some online, which I think is coming from the East Coast of Australia. So that might take up to one to two weeks because of the Christmas period and the mailing situation at the moment. So I'm just going to stop in some stores there, see if I can find them. If not, I know that I've got two on the way. So I guess that's a plus. You can also see in the background there, the next one that I will be working on. Okay, how do I turn this around? is going to be a Cleo. So I have just um, finished her outfit. I've taken some accents and repurposed them from her old G1 outfits and made her some stockings and a belt and a bangle. And then this outfit is actually from a Rainbow High doll, but I did have to tailor it because the Monster High dolls are obviously a little bit smaller. But I think she's turned out really cool. And the shoes fit perfectly. Now these I... The boots normally came up to here, but I've cut them so that they're more of like an ankle boot, which I think looks awesome and shows off her stockings a bit more. So she will be uh, one of the next customs coming. I've got her head there all prepped. I also have to get this lovely little lady packed up and ready to go to her new home to one of my patrons, Glorianne. Thank you so much. I hope I've said your name right. I'm get so worried with pronouncing names wrong um you're amazing and thank you so much for becoming a patron of mine this month i hope you love her and i cannot wait for you to get her take a breath adrian i've probably had too much coffee so on that note let's roll the clip from this morning of me in my pajamas looking a mess packing up all of the patron orders come on come in but then you don't like when I shut the door. Are you coming in or are you staying out?
One thing I did want to mention in one of my videos is um, for anyone that's purchasing my art and it arrives damaged, please contact me straight away because I will just send you out new art. Like I would rather you be happy in it, obviously not be damaged and it's seriously no issue sending you out like a reprint or something. Um, the reason I say that is because I send a lot of my stickers and my art in a thicker like cardboard envelope um, it does have protection but sometimes it can be caught in the elements or people are rough you know how the post is these days um, so if anything does arrive damaged just contact me um, another reason I do that is to keep the costs down being in Australia most of my customers are actually in the US so I don't want you guys paying like a bazillion dollars for my artwork so you if I was to put it in like say a package with tracking and everything you guys would end up paying something close to like double the price of what you've actually bought just for postage so yeah that's the reason I try keep things as low as possible and just send it in the hard um, backed envelopes yeah I'm so out of breath so unfit do we have any kangaroos 
probably a bit late in the day. Usually I, I walk to the post office and go to the shops a little bit earlier. Right near my house is a massive golf course. Um, and there's usually kangaroos like right up against the fence, but I don't think we're gonna have any today. Oh, wait, I've just seen one. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it because it's so camouflaged. I'll try and zoom in. Hello. Oh, you're so beautiful. So cute. It's a little bit warm today, so he looks like he's just resting peacefully in the shade. So cute. Oh, here we go. This is halfway. I call this Cartwheel Park and I think you know why. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> And that was Heart Attack Hill. I think you know why. Oh man, it's hot as hell. Always blows my mind that it's summer here for Christmas and then all the Hermesia is complete opposite. Every time I think of that, it's just crazy. Like our Christmases are usually like 40 degrees, we're having barbecues, going to the beach, and then over the other side, it's like snowing and you're all cozy up together in your blankets and your warm jumpers with your hot cocoa so weird having lived in London for like four years all up I've experienced both and I definitely prefer a winter Christmas just because it's what you've grown up with even coming from Australia everything was all what, like you know the songs were always about winter and snowing and warm by the fire and everything on TV was still advertised with snow and snowflakes and all decorations were like that. So it was always a really bizarre time in Australia. Um, now, finally, in like the past five to 10 years, they've kind of um, gotten on top of it with releasing, you know, decorations for Christmas trees in like um, seashells and stuff like that. But it just, it doesn't work. <laughs> it's really weird. So yeah, sorry about the drilling. They're like a building still um the new shopping center like these apartments outside um yeah winter christmas all the way i mean it's still nice and different to like go to the beach on christmas day and it's amazing and i've most of my life i have grown up with that but it's it's just something more magical about having a wintry christmas and it's snowing and yeah sorry aussies okay we've arrived hello mr crow Draculaura, if you're not in here, I'm going to throw a wobbly. That's a tantrum in Aussie. Well, no luck, absolutely no Monster High dolls in store at all. But I did get a Rainbow High specifically just for her clothing and shoes to use on Monster High. So I'll just wait for the two Draculaura that I bought online to arrive. So yeah, so annoying. It's like the worst time for them to come out as well around Christmas because they just fly off the shelves. I might as well just set up a tent out the front of the shops. This is the one I got. Hello. I literally got them for these shoes. They are frigging awesome. And the ones that she's wearing as well are really, really cool. So I'm going to open her up, take all the accessories out and throw the doll in the bin. <laughs> if anyone wants like the unclothed um, Shadow High and Rainbow High dolls, just leave a comment down below because I literally don't do anything with them. So I think I've, I haven't bought that many, but I've got like the recent ones I've bought her from 
I think like the exclusive fashion pack or something. One of the queens. And I have another one somewhere from Shadow High. But yeah, I'm just going to end up with so much frame behind Shadow High dolls unclothed that I just don't know what to do with. This light is so bright, but I feel like I need it so that I don't look like a sewer rat. <laughs> it is now the next day and it is time to do Cleo's face up. As I mentioned before, I am going to be keeping her hair. I'm not going to give her a reroute because I love her hair so much. And I envisioned like a high ponytail with like the hair wrapped around it. Um, as you've seen, this is going to be her outfit which is really trendy. So on that note, let's get to it.
excuse my little hair clip I just had to get my hair out of my face whilst I was doing her face up um, I know you've already seen her close up oh, I don't think she's gonna focus anyway you saw her before this most of you would have already seen her reveal by now in a Instagram reel and TikTok video and hopefully she's found a new home by now because this video will be going up weeks later because I'm filming in advance but I think she turned out really cool. And I, as I said, I didn't want to get rid of her hair because I love the color and feel of it so much. And I thought that she would really suit a high top ponytail. Okay, so I'm going to end the video here. Um, actually, no, I won't. I will end it with packing up a doll that I have to send to a new patron, Glorianne. So let's get on to that. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you for the next Vlogmas. See you guys. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea. I just want to say that I feel is real Maybe we should hurry up and seal the deal Take you there If I'm gonna love someone